this is the neighbor and welcome to another episode at utopia farms not sure what today has in store for us but i know i'm going to be tagging lambs we've got people coming over for some dorset rams and we're probably going to be lambing and we're going to be training sheep so it's going to be a busy day with a lot of everything going on we just fed uh, the showgirls who are looking pretty good, except for one who obviously had a bird bomber. So we'll have to clean her up a bit. As I'm sure you, most of you heard, um, our lamb with the umbilical cord uh, died. So uh, I don't know why she died. Usually we have extremely good luck with tying those off and I don't ever think we've lost one before. But that's, uh, that's what happens with farming and lambing. Our first lamb is out on, on her own in the group pen. So she's a group of one. And she's got her little jumping box there all ready to play on. And today I'm going to tag a couple more of these mums so that she can have some playmates today. Um, this lamb was, these two lambs were born uh, this morning, so they're newborns. Arnie's just making sure she has milk on both teeth. Um, and then th these ones I'm going to tag today from the old girl. They seem to be doing good. And these gr guys will tag today too. This one was born yesterday and seems to be doing as good as well. A lot, all boys it seems. We have, I guess we have two girls. Everybody's had twins, um, except for this one here. We got a single boy. And then in this pen, yep, that's Chewy. She was a very nervous first time mom. We thought she was gonna abandon her lamb actually. But uh, after a while she started to love it and let it nurse. Um, but right now I'm gonna go in, well, in a minute I'll go in and uh, see how her lamb is doing. But she has a little girl. Good girl, Chewy. So because we are gonna let some lambs out, Arnie's uh, trimming this ewe because I do the lambs. I, I'm going to tag them, give them their shots, do their tails, record them, and Arnie trims the ewes and deworms them. And you can see, look at her, her front feet, not, well, yeah. See how long dorset hooves grow much faster because they're white hooves. So we want them to start the new year with nice fresh hoops. We consider the start of their new year as uh, as soon as they've had lambs. So we make sure everything's done on them before we release them into the group pen because right now we can handle them and we have them right in our grasp. So it's our opportunity to check her udder, check her feet, deworm her. Make sure everything's good before we release it. But so far we're not seeing any problems with any of the ewes that have lambed. So this is the so this is the lamb that everybody's been waiting for. This is Chewy's lamb. And because Chewy has a black face, she the her lamb's mostly white, but she's got little markings. Oh, yes. You're okay. You're okay. Do you want to go see your mommy? <laughs> when she first had the lamb, she ran off and wouldn't acknowledge the lamb, so we were really nervous. But it looks like uh, all is well now. Thank goodness she 
this is why you want first timers to only have a single because uh, sometimes the first time moms are really nervous and unsure about what to do and it's much easier to learn when you only have one to look after than two but that's all working out well okay we just uh, we're bringing the second ewe to lamb out now she's coming out we just gave her her dewormer and stuff and she's gonna come out with her lambs and we're gonna put her in the group pen She's an old girl. She's been here. She was one of our first Dorsets. Hi guys. Want to take a picture of them? Let's see their faces. That would have been cuter with two. We're going to on them. He's a really nice one. Go on out with your mom. So there, sometimes when you put a mom in with the other mom, they fight, but this is a big pen and the other mom with her baby's way up there. They got a play area. They'll explore. And after every you and her lambs leave the jug, it gets cleaned out. Lime's gonna be sprinkled on the bottom. So it's fresh and clean for the next group. We're looking at the Dorset Rams now. They've been here before and they brought another couple who have not bought here before. So looks like four Rams are gonna go to different homes here. But they're in there choosing. We got these uh, Dorset rams are out of three different sires, so quite a bit unrelated. We're doing process of elimination right now. We got, these were the ones they narrowed it down to and they gotta get four, so they gotta toss two out. tough decisions. We're loading them one at a time. We got one on. Two. Ben! Ben! Today we're walking the ewe lambs. It's hard to film and walk at the same time, but Arnie's got a Suffolk and, well, you don't want them to tangle. And I got uh, candy here. Well, I did have candy, Arnie Tucker. But they're being much more cooperative today. So, the training circuit at our place now is a loop around the yard. Good girl, Candy. Candy is the white one that I want to show, I think. And uh, I think Garney has Cleopatra from Gladiator. And A 
after this we're going to pull the boys out. You guys look really, really fancy. Okay, I'll help now. Sit down, sit down, sit down, sit down. Both of you, sit. It's not sheep herding day. It's sheep walking day. The, do the, the dogs aren't irritating the sheep, cause the sh <laughs> but they are irritating the people. Me. <laughs> So each of the ewes has had a walk around the yard and done a circuit and a few of them have shearing lines on them so we're just at, before we bring them in the barn one at a time we're putting them on the stand just to clean them up a little bit another one done Comes um, crystal meth. Oh, <laughs> that was the least graceful of the dismounts. She only gets a three for that. This is the last of the <coughs> ewe lambs today. Everybody got nicely trimmed. The Dorsets had their leggings, <coughs> so they just have a little legging, not so they look silly. <coughs> this is candy. Candy's a sweetheart. She did. She was the only one who didn't want to go up on that trimming stand. So we had a bit of an ordeal with that, but she looks lovely now. Here we have kryptonite up on the stand. We're just trimming his legs a little bit, sculpting them. Not sculpting them, but making them just really flush to sh show his bone and muscle. I think he's a really nice ram. So for the rams, it looks like we're going to get rained out. So we brought the two worst on the halter rams out right now. And we're going to, we just trimmed them up a little bit. Make him a little tidier. Already he looks a little filthy, so he's gonna have to have another bath. But we're gonna take um, Klondike here and Kryptonite, my guy over there. And we're gonna take him for a walk and that'll be it for halter training today. We just ran out of time with visitors and everything. There's Klondike. Arnie's practicing with Klondike. I got Kryptonite here. <laughs> You don't need to practice too much with him because he stands perfect all on his own. There he is. <coughs> Smile for the camera. There, see, that's you. That's you. Look. <coughs> so we didn't have time to do all the boys today, but we did the big guy. Figure we want the heavy ones to be more behaved than the lighter ones because uh, we don't want to lose anyone at the show, so. Klondike got a good workout and did a really good job. And Kryptonite uh, did a fantastic job too. And next time we'll uh, work with the other ones. Running out of time. So to end the day, we'll have a peek at the lambs here. We got, this is Chewy's lamb right here. Looking very cute in her little hideaway. She's doing well. Chewy's right here, keeping an eye on her. Oh, you're Chewy's lamb. Oh, and you know what? I think Chewy heard that because right away she got up and talked back to her. Remember, we were a little worried if that she couldn't hear, but she definitely, I'd say, heard that. There you go. Good mommy, Chewy. Good mommy. Got up when your lamb was hungry. <laughs> there's this guy under here doing good. You just want to make sure when you pass by that um, even if they're sleeping, they're kind of alert, like her too. They're under there. But they look, uh, good. And see, I'm disturbing them, so they're gonna 
get up and nurse. There, she got it. And these were the two born today. They, I can't recommend these under feeder caves enough. They've saved so many lambs and the lambs instinctively go under there. They love it in there. It's nice and cozy, I think. So that's all for today, folks. Hope you'll join us again tomorrow for the next episode at Utopia Farms. Bye for now.